a pleasure to be with, with you this afternoon, uh, sharing uh, uh, this fourth uh, international scientist conference, uh, which is, well, uh, a long history for us, for the people that work in STEM uh, field. I'm going to share my screen. Let me, please, a moment. Yes, are you seeing right? Is correct? Yes? We, well. we, mm -hmm. Okay, so we go on. Um, well, um, I'm going to talk to you about citizen science and youth clubs uh, because we have a wonderful experience uh, in a collaboration that we have in our museum. Um, I'm the manager of Domus. Domus is a science center in the north of Spain uh, devoted to the human being and devoted to make STEM a uh, more uh, fun, more um, uh, wonderful experiences uh, related to human being and to nature and so on. So we start a, a collaboration with the California Academy of Science, uh, which is a museum in San Francisco, United States, um, which are totally devoted to the nature, to environment, and to um, teach and, and give um, visitors and students experience related uh, to this field. So uh, in this uh, collaboration, we start to, to, start to have a, a club, a science club in the museum, uh, which is called Science Action Club. Science Action Club is a, a, a new project from the California Academy of Science uh, that uh, try to give uh, citizen science to a lot of young people uh, from uh, 2011. Uh, about around uh, 18,000 uh, young people are involved in this project uh, in all the states and now starting in Europe uh, with uh, those in this case. Uh, with um, this uh, collaboration uh, in Science Action Club, um, we use citizen science, science as an education and engagement strategy. Um, it's like a way to address science, uh, address technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM in general, uh, to, to have learning objectives around nature and, and environment. And also we try to create some STEM identities in young people to become a um, new generation of critical thinkers that can be uh, capable of carrying to their natural landscape. Uh, so we, with SAC, we aim to, to get young people excited about science and nature, uh, enable them to uh, contribute uh, to real, to authentic research, uh, connecting with a global scientific community, with real scientists, real researchers, and reflect their, their um, investigations, their research uh, over the time. So now we are going to see a, a video to understand better, I think, uh, the, which is a citizen science in the framework of science, of science Action Club. In a universe of infinite complexity, on a planet rich with biodiversity, in a time of changing climates, researchers around the globe are looking for answers to nature's most pressing questions. How many insects live in the rainforest? How do birds survive in cities? Do clouds affect climate? Will coral reefs survive? Scientists don't have enough time or resources to answer these questions on their own. So that's why people from around the world are joining forces to help. We call them citizen scientists. Through citizen science, you can use simple technology like smartphones or tablets to observe, record, and analyze real scientific data. Your citizen science observations go directly to researchers at universities, museums, and places like NASA. Every citizen science contribution makes a difference. To undertake a project like digitizing one million specimens, we started calculating 
how many people would we need, how long would that take, and we estimated with our current staff and funding, probably around a century. And that wasn't too appealing. We don't really know what's out there, and I think it's important to know what, what do we have on this planet, how many species do we have, how many animals and plants. And unfortunately, it's a race against time, so it's really important to do it now and not in 100 years. Today, citizen scientists just like you are collecting and analyzing data to get answers faster than ever before. How will you help unlock the world's greatest scientific universe? Uh, well, uh, this is um, what uh, Science Action Club do around citizen science. Uh, and well, uh, Science Action Club also uh, is designed uh, for uh, young people, from kids from starting in 10, 10 years old to 14 years old, more or less. We can adapt uh, some another uh, age also. And, and they offer uh, kids uh, um, with uh, a lot of materials, including uh, games, including projects and hands-on activities and investigations that can inspire uh, the wonder of natural world. Um, and the, the kids are available in English and in Spanish also. And each kit, uh, we have three uh, in total, th three topics, three kits, and each of them includes uh, 12 activity plans, uh, all the tools, all the supplies for a club of 20 um, uh, persons, 20 youth. And you can um, prepare your staff in, in a self-paced uh, online training. So to um, get uh, know better with the offers in the kids and in the activities science action club, we can see this video. In a universe of infinite complexity, on a planet rich with biodiversity, in a time of changing climates, researchers around the globe are looking for answers to nature's most pressing questions. How many insects live in the rainforest? How do birds survive in cities? Do clouds affect climate? Do coral reefs survive? Scientists don't have enough time or resources. No, I think I have some problem with the video because it's the same. Sorry, I'm going to change now and continue yeah. explaining. <laughs> so, uh, well, the topic uh, that we and, can explore. Sorry. And uh, our our participants say that it's uh, very hard to hear the sound oh, on video. The, the video. Sorry, I'm so yeah. sorry. Maybe some kind of problem with the the sound in the platform. But I'm so sorry. I'm going to share the, um, the link uh, hey. for the participants after, uh, if you want, uh, and you can share okay. uh, by your own. OK. OK, mm -hmm. sorry. Sorry for the technical issues. Uh, so well, uh, which uh, topics we can explore with the uh, Science Action Club? We can start, for example, with Bug Safari. Bug Safari explores uh, small creatures, insects, uh, but they, they have a really big uh, environmental uh, impact. So uh, the bugs are really important now for the environment and for nature. Uh, we do local field uh, expeditions around our place, not very far away. Uh, with youth, uh, we um, search, we um, investigate bugs, we collect uh, specimens, we post photograph in uh, to in naturalist which is the platform the citizen science uh, platform that we use in the mobile phone or in the tablet that we use in the club um, you can share your pictures and then you can share on online social network around nature research I, about uh, bugs uh, we can work with scientists we can work with another students and also youth can identify um, some new species that can, they can find in their places because with climate change, species are uh, changing, changing their habitats. And uh, students also can document uh, uh, the conditions of the habitat 
and, and then uh, to try to understand better the influence of uh, bugs in the health of the environment in, in our planet. Another topic is uh, bird scouts, for example. Uh, we can explore, in this case, uh, feathers, flights, and the, all the um, features that make uh, birds uh, unique in our world. Uh, we can use tools, we can use technology, and we can identify uh, local species also, uh, trying to understand the impact of the birds in our uh, place, in our world, in our community. Uh, we use uh, also checklists uh, to submit in a different platform, in this case, which is called eBird. Uh, it's a, a really experience, a really long project uh, in science, citizen science, uh, eBirds. And you can use this platform, uh, which is uh, created by Cornell Lab uh, of Ornithology, uh, to help scientists, uh, real scientists, track uh, uh, changes in bird distribution and um, to discover how they are in your community, if they are changes, they changing the, the moments of the year that they visit your community and, and then contribute to understand better uh, birds. And finally, um, uh, we can uh, stu study also uh, clouds uh, is a program that explore um, the sky and, and uh, how clouds, how the, the weather uh, is important today in relation with uh, climate change. It's a, a project from NASA and they create a new platform also called uh, Globe Observer. You can use this platform to share also your observations, your pictures, and to send to the researchers from NASA. And the name of this platform is Globe Observer and is uh, devoted to citizen science also. Uh, well, uh, it's really important the way that we, we can train and, and learn how to, to have confidence to explain, to, to give this uh, project, this uh, club to our students. So um, a Citizen Science Club have a really high quality program uh, devoted to professionals, to people that work in, in STEM uh, education. Uh, that is de developed in, in an online uh, online platform. Uh, you can do it at your own pace. It's uh, very attractive, uh, very visual. Uh, you don't need so much experience in nature. You, ha you don't have to be an expert in, in bugs or in clouds or in, in birds to do it. Uh, it's more important that you have the clues to, to um, try uh, give your students a uh, STEM identity, how to uh, push them uh, in the STEM world, in the, to, to have new ideas, new questions, uh, to recover the love for nature, uh, to explore the nature in, in their community. And this is the idea of this um, program of uh, training for educators that would like to, to um, explain, to facilitate a club like this, uh, climb, this kind of uh, science action club. Um, in, in the training also, we have a lot of examples of successes, of uh, failures also, uh, a lot of lessons learned I, of, uh, um, over the years of the programs. And we have uh, also feedback and some common situations that you can find in the club. Uh, from the per perspective of young people, and, and also you can dramatize e even some uh, activities, some games, to understand better how to facilitate them. Patricia, well, several minutes, okay? Oh, okay, uh, so uh, now this is uh, in the present day community, and uh, now it's in the States and Alaska, and starting to spread in Europe in this little in a small a small point in in Spain and welcome you if you want to to have more information about uh, how you can join to the club and just uh, some pictures uh, about our experience in our museum domus in Spain 
Uh, it was in starting in the COVID pandemic, but uh, we enjoy a lot going out, exploring the nature and uh, outdoor activities, uh, playing. And well, for me, it's a win to win activity. And I recommend strongly if you want uh, and take contact on, on me. This is my email, patricia.org. And it will be a pleasure to share my experience and to help you if you want to be part. Thank you, Patricia. It's you. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, it was, uh, but maybe you can send uh, some links. Yes. The video. Yeah. For okay. Patricia. I'm going to share uh, after my presentation yeah. in the and, chat. And uh, we have one question in the chat. I don't know. You see. You know, maybe yeah, I, I'm seeing okay on several to, minutes for to preschool students. Well, uh, yes, uh, not all the activities, but the uh, California Academy also have some materials developed for uh, preschool students adapted to the their age and the way the way that they explore the world. And I can share also the link, uh, and you can find some. With beautiful activities to develop not only in an out of a school and club environment, also in, in the school time. So, I, uh, I, Palma Garcia Amigo, hello. I will to send you the, the link to explore these activities. Thank you. Mm -hmm.